very glad to, to attend to this conference. Um, it's very important to me because um, I uh, cherish life. I understand that um, my life is important. In the, in the same way, uh, the life of every person is very important because it's from God and God is life. So um, for me to be over here and to see so many people from uh, all over Romania, uh, people who cherish, who value uh, life, this means that my nations, uh, my Romanian nations, started to have a different um, perspective uh, regarding life. This conference will open the eyes of the people in Romania. They're, they're definitely going to see, a lot of people have no clue, they don't talk about abortion, they don't talk about um, all the effects that it has on their lives, the effects that it has on this country that um, the population of Romania is depleting. Up until fairly recently, I've always kind of had the feeling that we're alone in trying to fight this very big thing in Romania, but this conference made me realize that actually it's not the case. Um, there are many people working towards this goal and um, this conference um, is allowing for some good networking and making a difference together. This conference was important for Romania because uh, there's not a lot of uh, uh, there's not a lot of people gathering together and networking about pro-life ministry, so that's one reason uh, we were able to bring many people from different denominations, especially the Orthodox Church and the Pentecostal Church in this area or this half of Romania together, and share ideas, uh, encourage one another, inspire one another, and break that. Um, kind of like a wall between the denominations. Well, we are right now in a situation as a country where uh, we are hit by this big wave of uh, immorality, of abortions and same-sex marriages and all that information. The country is bombed. Uh, it's like under a, an, a huge attack. Uh, we're bombed from all directions, but we don't have the know-how. As a church, we, we're not really prepared how to respond to these challenges. So these kind of conferences are, are, are equipping the church to answer the challenge. Uh, I see it part of our ministry to speak for life because it's, it's uh, something that needs to be changed in all the society. When somebody decides that a life is worthless, and this especially happens with children who cannot express themselves because they're too little, they need somebody else to, to talk for them, you know? We need to somehow be their voice. I, I, I like what you guys, organizers, are doing. You're talking about the voice of the voiceless. It's important for me to uh, stand out and to be a voice for um, the baby, the unborn baby, um, this uh, teeny person who cannot defend himself, there is life from the beginning um, and um, I can do something to help people to understand this. I think the number one thing that a person can do to change abortion in the world is to uh, draw attention to the value of life. For example, a person who would abort a child is kind of saying that, that the life of that child doesn't have value or it doesn't have as much value as something else, whether that's money or a career or something like that. And so we must promote, promote the idea that every child has a value, every child has a purpose, every child has a, a plan, they're created by the Lord. Romania needs more conferences like this because the pro-life message doesn't get through, doesn't quite get through to people. And I think people should listen more to this pro-life message. And we need to gather and to, to, to join forces because, you know, we have a global movement who's saying that um, it's okay to be against life. But why not have a global, international movement that says 
Well, it's okay to be pro-life.